Hi, my name is Sumit Boyer and I am a subject matter expert in ClickView. I am creating this video because I want to share my ClickView knowledge with all of you. In this tutorial, we will talk about the basics of set analysis in ClickView. Usually ClickView aggregates database on selections, but there are certain points where you want to render data set based on certain specific requirements or filters. So at this point of time, set analysis is the best way to do that. Set analysis is a predefined set of data that our chart or table use. So using a set expression, we can tell our object like chart or the table to display values corresponding various set of data. Or I can say that, or in the easiest language, I can say that, that it is a quick and fast way to display information using click view technology on a state. So now let me explain you what is a set analysis and how to do set analysis in click view. So for this first of all let me log open my click click view. So as you can see here I have already opened my click view. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load my QBD file. So how to load a QBD file? Let me click on edit a script. I'm going to add a new tab over here. Here I'm going to load my data file. My data file is salesinfo.qvd. Open. Now as you can see here we have the company name year and sales three columns. Company name ABC, ABC, ABCDE, ABCDEFG like this and we have years 2000, 2011, 2012 and 2012 three consecutive years and the sales. And click on finish save and reload the data. Now what I'm going to do is first of all I'm, go I'm going to create a list box over here. So how to create a list box? Right click new sheet object list box from the field select year ok right now what I so these are the years I want to arrange them so right click properties presentation into fixed number of columns three because we have got three years so I have arranged them properly now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a chart over here so I right click new sheet object chart and in chart I'm going to select a straight table chart so select straight table chart next company name as a dimension and the expression will be sum of sale this will be my expression and here total sale so as you can see here this is the total sale and as I click on any year you can see the data is changing over here now what I want to do is I want to perform the set analysis on this particular data but before performing the set analysis I am going to tell you about uh, set analysis that what is the syntax of a set analysis and about the identifier of set analysis. So the syntax for a set analysis is for example we start with sum and the set analysis always starts with cur within curly brackets. sales and if I want to put a where clause that where clause must comes under this angle brackets. Now with this angle brackets within this curly braces and angle brackets we have to use the set analysis identifiers. So what are the identifiers? So the identifiers here we have to use like 0 or 1 or dollar or we have dollar 1. So let me explain you about, uh, let me tell you about identifiers, identifiers, we have 0, 1, dollar and dollar 1, dollar 1. Now what's the purpose of 0? Zero? 0 means it will, if I'll use a set Identi uh, if I use an identifier as a 0, it will not display any records even though we will select an, uh, any value from the list box 
or any data from the list box. This means it will display set of all records in the application in the application and dollar means records of current selection and dollar one means represents previous So this is about identifiers. Now let's see how to perform a set analysis query in our click view. So what I'm going to do is first of all make it clear so that the all the data will be available. Basically you can see A is 7000. It is a consecutive calculation or the total of total sale of year 2011, 2012 and 2013. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a criteria over here is that I only want to display the data of company A and company B. So this is basically my set analysis. I want to filter the data. So for filtering the data, I'm going to put a break a brackets over here and I'm going to use my where clause and I write here company name equal to and company name A and company B. This is the this is the set analysis filter. And OK and apply. And when we click on apply, you can see over here the data has been filtered over here. Now even if you select any year or if you like 2011, 2012, 2013, it will only display the data from the company A and company B. The other company's record, it will not going to display over here. Okay, now how to use the identifiers. Let's say we want to use the identifiers over here and what identifier I'm going to use is, let me add one more company over here, let's say company C and we can see the records of three companies over here. Now if I want to use the identifier I again get back to the query over here and here I use an identifier zero. Now as I told you zero means no records. Even if you select any even the records are there or you select any year from here it will not display any record over here you see zero record. Even if you select year 2012, 2013, 2011 still the year is zero or the data is zero because we have set the identifier to zero. Now if I use a dollar here, dollar indicates the records of the current selection. So it will display the records only for the current selection 2011, 2012, 2013. It's normal selection. You can see that it's like a normal. But if I want to show, for example, I want to show the data or the total sale of A from for all the three consecutive years. So what I can do is I can simply in, in, instead of dollar I can use simply one. So one means it will display the set of the records in the application. So I click on apply and OK. So you can see this is a total case. Now even if you do any if you make any selection or if you do any selection it doesn't matter it will always display the same record. So this is our set analysis query. So we have filtered the data and we have put a an identifier over here. So that's all in my video. Please subscribe our YouTube channel to access more videos. I will be coming up with some new more videos with, uh, with new topics. I hope you li like my video. Have a nice day ahead. Till then, bye-bye.